Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, it's Monday, so it's deep dive time, and we're going to be looking at Arnold rendering. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can do an ambient occlusion pass render, how you're going to do a wireframe render, and how you can do a diffuse map render. Okay. Now, uh, after you have watched the video, please stick around for a little bit longer because I got a couple of announcements, and I don't want you guys to miss that. All right. Okay. Enjoy the video. Bye. All right, guys. Well, what's going on today? Well, we're going to do uh, render passes where I'm going to show you guys how you can render a diffuse pass, uh, for example, an ambient occlusion pass, or maybe even a wireframe pass. All right. Now, I set up a very simple scene in order for us to do that, and I'll just walk you through it. So basically, we have a simple uh, backdrop, which is a plane uh, with a bevel on it. We have a very simple model of a bench. And I've applied Arnold materials to everything. So there's an Arnold material uh, default shader on the floor, on the bench, and I just uh, changed the colors up a little bit, right? Now, next thing I did is I set up a bookmark. So if you go to view and bookmark and new, there you go. We'll have everything in the shot. And also I added some lights. So if we open up the attribute editor, you'll see I got a bench and I got a sky dome light going on there, right? Now, what we're going to do here, like I said, is we're going to do a couple of render passes. And uh, the first one that we're going to do is a simple diffuse, right? So let's uh, close this down. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the little button up here, which looks like a movie board or um, like a director's board with a little cube in it. We're going to click on that. And when we open that up, we see a scene, render settings, AOVs, lights, and so forth. And then we have this guy with a little plus sign on it, okay? So let's click on that and that will create a new layer. And we're gonna call this diffuse, right? And we're gonna hit enter. Now we need to tell Maya what we want to have included in that diffuse pass, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a collection. And uh, the system is gonna ask, okay, so what do you want in that pass? And what I'm gonna do is open up my outliner and I'll just move this over here and I want my entire model, including the light. So basically everything, right? All of that stuff. So with all of that selected, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on add. And as you can see, it has now all been added right here. So now if I go in and I render this uh, scene as is for my diffuse, and I'll just click on this guy, hang on. And I'll just make sure that it's rerunning. you'll see that that works properly. Now keep in mind that, you know, it's not about the model as per usual. It's a very simple model, but that's how it works. Okay. So we have the diffuse. Now what's next? Let's say we want to have an ambient occlusion pass. So we're going to minimize this guy. We're going to go back into this render setup here and we're going to click on the plus sign once again. But in this case, I want to have a ambient occlusion pass. So let's call that ambient occlusion or I mean occlusion pass depending on what you want we're going to enter and again we need to add a collection so what do we want in our ambient occlusion pass so I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new collection like so and as before I now need to decide what I want to put in here so I'm going to go into my outliner again and for my ambient occlusion pass what I initially need is everything with the exception of my light because I don't need a light source for my ambient occlusion so there we go. So I'm going to leave the light alone. Okay. I'm going to go to add, add everything in there. But the problem now is whenever I uh, render this now, I would either get a blank uh, black scene because I don't have any light and I still have all my colors on there. So what I need to do next is I need to go in here into my collection and I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a, uh, where is it? A material override right here create a material override. So I want to overrule all the diffuse colors in my scene so far. Okay. And for that, I need to go to the right and I need to choose an override material. Now, when I click on that, I will have the option to go to Arnold because that's my renderer of choice. And I go to the shaders. I'm going to open up surface shaders. And what I'm going to look for is my ambient occlusion material. So I'm going to click on that. 
And now what I need to do is select, okay, so what layer do I want render right now? Well, I don't want my diffuse, so I got this eye option to turn that on or off. I do want my ambient occlusion pass though. So I'm gonna turn that one on, right? And then as before, I'm gonna go up and click on the little eye icon and hit render. Let's hit this guy right here. And there you go, a perfectly nice ambient occlusion pass. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so what do we have left? Well, uh, let's say we want a wireframe pass. Now, I'm not gonna say that this model is gonna have a perfect wireframe. Uh, it's something I did like a zillion years ago, but it doesn't really matter. It's about your model and your scene, not mine. So uh, let's go in here and give it a go. I'm gonna minimize this guy. And once again, we're gonna add a new layer. So there we go. And we'll call this a raw frame pass. Why not? Just wanna use that word apparently. Okay, so wireframe pass. Now, what do we need to do? We need to right click once again. We need to go in and create a new collection. And then we need to decide what do we want in our wireframe pass. So once again, I'm gonna open up my outliner. Let's bring this in here. And what I want is for everything to be in there, including my light. So there you go, all selected, and I'm gonna click on add. Now, all of that stuff has been added to my wireframe pass, and once again, I need to create an override. So instead of using our diffuse colors, or instead of using the ambient occlusion colors, what I want is an Arnold material called wireframe. So I'm gonna go in here once again, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna do an override. So uh, create material override, there you have it. And then I need to go to the right and I need to choose what type of override material that's gonna be. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna click on this guy once again. And uh, let's see, we're gonna go under Arnold, under Shader, uh, to Surface Shader once again. And here we have an Arnold wireframe material. Okay, we're gonna select that. And now as before, we're gonna have a look and make sure that we only have that pass selected, okay? So the eye icon here on our diffuse is turned off. The eye icon on ambient occlusion, we need to turn that off. And then the eye icon on the wireframe pass, we're gonna turn that one on. There you go, okay? Let's move this over to the right. And we're gonna go in here, and once again, we're gonna do a render. So here we go. And there you have it, there is our wireframe. So that is an easy way to do that. Um, before you guys go, and please hang on one sec, I have an update for you guys. Uh, what I wanna tell you is that I did a, a little uh, poll uh, recently on social media, and I asked you guys about the videos that I was making and whether I need to change anything or not. Well, apparently you guys are not a huge fan of my uh, time lapses and you would rather have longer videos in more detail. So uh, I've decided to do that, okay? So from now on, no more time lapses. I will be doing full uh, workflow uh, videos. And then the next thing that you guys ask me is, okay, um, can you do more intermediate or more advanced tutorials? Now, I got that question a lot. I'd love to do that, no problem whatsoever. Uh, the thing is though, that what do you consider intermediate or advanced? Uh, one person thinks it's advanced, the other thinks it's simple. So uh, what I would like you to do is leave in the comment section a request that are very, very specific and also mention whether you consider that to be intermediate or advanced, right? They'll give me an idea of what you guys are looking for. This channel is all about you guys. So if you can do that for me, that'd be great. And I will move towards doing that, okay? Then finally, before I sign off, uh, you probably saw that the uh, 3D modeling challenge entries are in. Uh, voting is in progress. Voting will shut down on December 1st. Winner will be announced on December 25th. So if you haven't voted yet, please do that now. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? Well, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys soon, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.